Hello and welcome back to Factorio Atlantis. Our task today, if we choose to accept it, is to get sulfur and lubricant. Now, let's put down a machine just briefly. Sulfur we can make directly from petroleum and water. Sulfuric acid requires iron. Okay. And sulfur is actually used in a couple of processes other than for making sulfuric acid. Um, particularly explosives, and we are going to need explosives to make cliff explosives to clear the cliffs on this island, uh, because the island has cliffs and we have almost no space. So, I think what I'm going to do is make a bit more space down here. Okay. And we will assume that there is a sulfuric acid process here. So it's going to turn sulfur into sulfuric acid using water. There we go. So we will pull off this mix belt. I have a feeling that two of these will be sufficient for all our needs. I nearly deaded myself again. Okay, and we need water. I have no idea how we're going to get hold of water. Offshore pump. enough. Nope, let's carry on taking more away. Okay. This is more tricky than I expected. All right, we have water. Um, can I pontoon this? Yeah, I can. That's turned it into a water well pump. Fair enough. All right, well, we've just got these left. So this needs ah this needs to take in sulfur. At the moment I'm only taking in iron. Okay, so this is all in the wrong place. Let's pull all of that up. Let's do this a bit more sensibly. That's it. All right. So this is going to pull in from two two belts a sulfur belt and the iron belt. So this will be a sulfur belt. And of course, Sod's Law. What? Okay, and we are somewhere near the refinery complex, so let's run over there. Um, now, we need to bring lubricant in somewhere along here. Is that roughly where it is? 
Not really. Well, let's start bringing it in where it is. Um, okay. Upgrade this. Let's join this up here. Yep, we have lubricant. Okay, put those two down. Ooh, they're producing. How exciting. All right, so that's the lubricant brought in. So now we need to bring in a belt of sulfur. And where is the best place to do sulfur? I think rather annoyingly, the best place for sulfur is above plastic. Um, where else could we do it? I don't really want to use this space because that's reserved for lubricant type stuff. Um, so it's going to have to be above here. a bit of this to give us a bit of working space. All right, so. If this is sulfur, it needs water and petroleum. So let's do the fluids at the bottom. Yeah, it is, but we need some arms, so we need something up here. Now, I don't know how many of these machines we will need. Oh, okay, we need a block space between them. So that answers the question about where the power pole should go and where the light should go. So these will put out sulfur. I'm wasting a belt because I want this to be tileable. How can this not line up? All right. Let's cut the whole of that and move it up one square. The reason being...
They're still not active. I still don't have a power pole to fix them. What I could do... is blueprint in a power pole, so that next time I'm passing, it will get fixed by accident. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. We have water. We need output arms there. What is this waiting on? Petroleum. And we have sulfur. Okay. So that's just over a quarter of a belt. So if we... I'm just going for round numbers here. It's not necessarily a sensible thing. But that is just over a half belt. All right. Should I set it up to produce a belt? I don't see why not. Okay, so if I take a copy of that and upgrade it so we get pontoons. Okay. Build what we can, pontoon the rest. This can't quite get through that. So this should be enough to fill a belt. I can now trim this back. Okay. That flips the direction. Let's put that there. Great. So we now have sulfur, which I need to bring in down here somewhere. So let's start from the other side and work back. Yeah, so I want sulfur in down here. Um, so I think... I bring it down by the side of here. That gives room for us to expand plastic if we ever need to. Let's just fill all this in for now. Think of a good. This build may grow. I don't really want to bump into it. Okay. 
So if we upgrade Force through the blocks. Okay, is that it? Sulfur is coming down. At a glacial speed. Kill that. Right, what else do we have to do? Um, we haven't figured out how we're going to make the robots yet. So. I've done everything here with counterflows. Um, and of course I boxed myself into a corner. So to make robot frames into robots, let's just double check the recipes. So for those I need red circuits, for those I need green circuits. So if I brought in a, a line of red circuits around this side of the build, then we could also make these using steel. We have steel around here. Okay, so if I bring these up here somewhere, then we could bring in red circuits by the side. Yep, let's bring in red circuits there. Um, Too hacky even for me. All right, so now we have red circuits, frames. All in one place. Right, what's going on? So we have this which requires Ah, it can't get in because the pipe is in the way. Okay, so the sulfur is going to have to come in from below. Probably should have seen that coming using my super spidey senses. All right. Is 
that better? Yeah. Okay, so if we grow the sulfur production, we'll have to chew up this belt. It's almost worth rerouting it now, but I'm, I'm not going to. Right, so we have. Ah, this needs a faster inserter. There we go. We are now producing sulfur, which is going into batteries. The batteries are going into making frames. Okay, let's do a quick max rate over this. Okay, so we have just enough battery machines. We've got a, a net of 0.2 battery machines. So this should all run. So that means we have robot frames starting to appear here. That's it. Okay, then if we put some platform down. Let's just do the whole of this area. There we are. Um, okay, this is no longer working because we have... Whoop. There we are. We were one tile short. Okay, so the original plan was to reuse these two belts for engines to feed into Blue Science. which I may still do, but my immediate concern is getting bots. So, this is going to make logistics bots. This is going to make proper bots. I am full of useless things again. No, far too down the So the idea would be we would bring in belts like this, carry these on. Okay, now what do these put out to? Roboports. For roboports I need steel and gears. Okay, so gears is easy because we have these big buffer chests. 100 of those. Steel is not so straightforward. I have 14 at the moment. Okay, so let's find... Okay, so I can now make two roboports. I want to go... Want to go here? I am very pleased with that. All right, so let's put a power there and there. Um, do I want to? I'm trying to think of the best way. All right, so yeah, I think we'll do it like this with an intermediate box. Okay, so let's this has the problem that we can't... Right, move out of the way. This has the problem that we don't quite have enough room to snake the robot frames through the gap. That definitely does. have some robot frames here. So um, we will have intermediate boxes here. Can I actually craft a couple? Right, I'm missing green circuits. And 
steel for steel chests. Two of those. All right. So there, there. We will I just want to get this completed before we go. All right. This This is going to be limited by um Okay, so I could do this by just setting the stacks, but I don't want to do it that way. Let's copy paste that. No, it didn't, that didn't work. All right, but I'm gonna replace this with Logibots. So the idea is later on, we will replace these with buffer chests. All right, then I want to have a wire going from here to here and from here to here. Set this to read bot statistics. Okay, the available Logibots is X. So I want this active when X is not. And I want this active when Z is not. Okay, if you're wondering why I did less than an equal, uh, it's because I'm a software engineer and I have seen all these things go wrong before because you just assume that things have nice, well-behaved behaviors and they don't. All right, so don't actually need robot frames at the moment for anything. This needs green seconds. This needs red circuits. There we are. All right, cool. So just before I go, sorry, this is a longer episode than all. We are going to make all the things. So this is going to make robot ports. Um, Okay, and this needs stealing gears as well. That's steel, that's gears. That's too far away to reach, isn't it? And then it needs to put, it's a slow build. This needs to put out into a passive provider. Okay, and this is going to be limited by the network to when the number of available rubber ports in the network is less than five. Okay, for now I just want five rubber ports available for building. And they can be in storage or they can be here. Then the next thing steel boxes. Okay, this is red boxes, this is yellow boxes. Steel boxes are useful in their own right. Why can't I make any of these? I need a steel chest, which is ironic, really. Can I move that? 
that any further? Yeah, I can. Good. Let's do them that way. All right. So that's going to go into a red box. We are going to connect this to the network. We are going to say enable when steel boxes is less than 50. Then we are going to feed that across an in. Okay, this requires red and green circuits, so and I can pick up the box to put down the box. I can't express how happy this makes me. Okay, so this again is going to be connected to the network. when red boxes are less than 50. And this will, oh, we need an output. When yellow boxes are less than 50. Okay, so we have rover ports. Okay, the next thing we need is um, probably loads more power, but more importantly than that, um, we need to have cliff explosives. Okay, so we'll leave that for next time. Um, until then, thanks so much for watching. I um, hope you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I am, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.